are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cad Drag. Today we're going to be using a new soap to me, one that I'm really excited to use, and that's CBL Soaps California Sunrise. Uh, this is the ghost version that was made for me. Uh, CBL Soaps did this. This is a custom scent. Um, it's actually available on his site right now. Um, I asked him to do a clone <clears throat> of one of my favorite clones of all time, and that is Amwaj Sunshine Man. It's a very unique scent. Um, so, going through the top notes, top notes are um, lavender, uh, yellow flower, or immortel. They're interchangeable. They're about they're the same thing. Um, immortel is the actual name of the flower, um, and orange brandy. And then with base notes of bergamot, juniper berry, and clary sage, uh, and then vanilla and tonka bean coming up and supporting the uh, base. Um, it's a really wonderful scent, and Chris did a phenomenal job cloning it in the soap. Uh, you can see it's a darker soap. So immediately what I get, the lavender and the, van the vanillic um, tone of the yellow um, and the bourbon all meld together. It makes it very hard to smell one particular note, and, and that's the same as in the Eau de, Eau de Parfum. So... Um, <clears throat> the Immortel really carries out. The Immortel is very, it's my favorite fragrance of all time. So it's a, a floral note, but it's a floral note in the essence. Um, it's it's a, such a unique note in that it's it's got a very caramel type, a burnt caramel uh, type of scent to it. Um, it's very, very unique and it blends very, very well with the lavender and the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, orange brandy up top. And that also carries right into the the, the mid notes. Uh, it's actually really, really long lasting. So um, for the rest of the shave, uh, we're going to be using the Paladin uh, Manic Depression. This is a 28 millimeter uh, in the Eldorado shape. And then we're going to be using a CB Heldestrand MK31 or Mark 31. This is a 5 8 razor hollow ground. So, the here are the actual scent notes for the uh, soap right here. Um, go ahead and post them. And I had them do this in the hemp oil base. So this is a variation on his normal Wagyu beef tallow base um, with the addition of hemp oil and um, he originally released this in his Dragon's Blood scent. He released a Dragon's Blood and a Ghost Dragon's Blood. And uh, people raved about the performance. Now, I was a little on the fence about ordering a, a, a one with hemp, hemp oil. I did a little research. As a shaving soap, it's not going to cause you to pop hot in any, any drug test or anything like that. It's not something you need to be concerned about. Um, what it does do is it provides some additional moisturizing properties and I believe a little bit more slickness. Um, here is the uh, soap formula, the ingredient list uh, for the hemp oil base. Um, again, he uses Wagyu beef as his primary base um, and then he does add a couple of uh, other things uh, depending. Um, this is the V2 ghost formula. So this has WS16 and WS23 if I'm not mistaken. I know it's WS23, but there's uh, two different synthetic cooling agents uh, to give it the cooling sensation. Um, this is Coolada, is another word, or Sim Simcool. Um, so it gives you that cooling sensation that lasts longer than menthol, uh, but doesn't have the menthol scent. So the only scent that you're getting off of this is the scent of the soap and the scent of the fragrance. Well, I should say just the scent of the fragrance because the soap really doesn't have too much of a smell. Um, and yeah, just awesome. <laughs> so let's get into lathering this. This is a soft soap bordering on a hard cream. Um, I wasn't thinking and I went ahead and I bloomed it. Absolutely not necessary. But loads very, very easily. I'm, I'm probably overloading it right now. But that's just me. Um, if you guys haven't checked CBL soaps out, 
you guys need to. Um, this stuff is, it's, it's elite level soap, guys. Um, this is as good as your Declaration Icarus, as your um, goat milk from Ariana and Evans. Um, it's, it's that good, guys. Chris worked real hard on uh, perfecting his uh, formulation, and it the hard work paid off. This is just a phenomenally good soap base. Again, I haven't used the actual hemp oil base, but again, that's uh, from what I understand, that's really the only addition to his normal base is the hemp oil. strength on this um, off of the tub um, I would say the scent strength is a good three um, I can smell already that it's probably closer to a four lathered um, Chris did use some pretty high quality fragrance oils and essential oils in this um, so the scent of the soap should actually last quite a while uh, for a soap so expect the uh, I'm expecting the the scent notes to carry with me for uh, an hour or two afterwards, which is really good for a shaving soap. So, like I was saying before, um, as far as the scent is concerned, there's no one note that really dominates. Um, it, it, it blends together really, really well. Um, eh, we'll go with it, and then if we need to add a little bit more, we'll go ahead and we'll add some when we're face lather. So let me do that, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So when I put this on the face for my uh, my towel, the clary sage really came out. Pretty, pretty phenomenal. So Amouage is a very high-end perfumer. Um, it's based out of Oman in the Middle East. And Sunshine was released in 2016 or 2017. And it was a pretty uh, large departure from what they normally release. Normally their releases are do have some bright releases, but there's usually some sort of incense note to them. And this doesn't have that. Um, I tried it out when I was going for the Duty Free in Dubai and just fell in love with it. Secondary slickness on this soap is just absolutely top notch. I got about two and a half days worth of growth. It's been a busy, uh, hectic couple of days out here. everybody's December is going well and it's Friday there we go good reduction for the first pass
So, for those of you who uh, haven't before, have never shaved with a uh, Helger Strand, any of the sweet old Swedish steel brands. Um, Johan Engstrom, Klaus Tornbrom. Jernbo Laggett. Helberg. The steel that they use is Swedish steel, Swedish silver steel. Um, and it is amongst the hardest in the straight razor kingdom. As a matter of fact, um, it's noticeably harder um, than your Sheffield steel and your um, Solingen steel. Noticeably harder. To the point where it probably takes twice as long to home. Which takes that many extra laps. Now I'm starting to get undertones of the Tonka bean and the vanilla. Impressive job, Chris. I have to give it to you. Um, you did a wonderful job. I do kind of wish that the uh, the orange brandy and the immortel stuck around a tad longer. But this this heart note moving into the base is pretty spectacular. Audible feedback on this is pretty darn good too. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Very nice. Again, the residual slickness on this soap is such that I really don't need putting water or additional soap down. It's really not a necessity at all. Um, either to use uh, <clears throat> some uh, to use a post shave. This I do just because of habit. Um, however, prior to going to bed, I probably won't. Um, I'm about to go down so I can stay in my stay in my schedule. Um, however, I am probably going to use a little bit of uh, Paladin unscented when I wake up, along with this as a carry and use the paladin as a carrier um when i uh put it on my face so
We're gonna get this thing a little bit more hydrated. Just to see what it does. I'll pull the lather when I'm done just to show you guys. The other thing with the Swedish steel is once you get a good edge on it, they tend to keep their edges for quite a while. Cooling agents really starting to kick in now. It feels really good. It's not overpowering at all. Been there the whole shave but it's just now peeking set up and saying hey you haven't talked about me at all Real nice. Razor felt real smooth. Um, soap had a lot to do with that, honestly. Um, I could probably that could probably go and do with a refresh. Oh yeah, nice shave. A little heavy-handed in this area, which is normal for me. So the alum is going to give me a little bit of feedback. Speaking of which. See what the alum says. Nothing on the face. I'm expecting it to be a little bit more vociferous on the neck. Yep, right there on the chin. Right about where I was expecting it. Yeah, a little red. It's all right. Oh no, and that's user error. Honestly, I wouldn't have that problem if I have been using my straights more often. Because it is a perishable skill. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this lather looks like. <laughs> it's 
started hitting its, uh, its peak for, for water. You can see, look at that. Just some real good stuff. Really good stuff. All right, it's going to take me a second to get my hands clean. Okay. Oh, my hands smell great now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do my cleanup. Um, clean up my area right here, and uh, I'll be back for some, for some uh, final thoughts. See you in a second. Alright guys, had a wonderful shave with CBL Soaps, California Sunrise. Um, one of my knocks on the uh, on the brand, um, and Chris is working on this, he's just starting out, um, so he hasn't had a chance to really develop um, some of the things within his, uh, the soap is outstanding. Um, containers are great. Uh, labels are not waterproof yet though, so as you can see there's some water spotting. Um, I made the mistake of not keeping the uh, the lid down and away so um, splash some water on there all right it is what it is um, but that doesn't have anything to do with the shave the shave is wonderful my face feels great um, the scent is still lingering um, which is awesome um, to go over what we used uh, we used our paladin all right this is the manic depression brush the purple haze uh, giveaway last year and we also use the CVH MK or Mark 32 this is a hollow ground razor 5 8 and it's in excellent condition um, and of course uh, the California Sunrise soap from CBL this is the <coughs> hemp oil base with the um, synthetic some cool uh, cooling agents in there um, tomorrow I'm going to be using some uh, balm when I wake up combined with the fragrance that inspired the soap scent Amouage Sun Sunshine Man Eau de Parfum so all in all great soap great scent um, really happy with the shave uh, you can find CBL soaps at www.cblsoap.com and uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, you guys are doing yourself a favor by doing so. And uh, he's got quite a few scents. Um, he's running a sale right now on some seasonals that he's trying to get rid of. There is still some California Sunrise available. I believe he has six tubs of it left. Um, it will not be with the cooling agent in it. Although he does have his uh, ghost pineapple and ghost lime, I believe, available. And those do have the cooling agents in it. So or the ghost ghost uh, pineapple has both cooling agents the ghost lime only has one so the ghost pineapple is his v2 cooling uh base so yeah if you haven't stopped by and check us out in the shaving cadre guys stop on by www.theshavingcadre.com love to see you there a lot of great discussions all right until next time guys i'm dagwood z from the shaving cadre peace